Hi there, my name is John Tran and I am ST Application Engineer for NFC and RFID products. I'm here to show you a quick demo tutorial of the STM32 Cube MX NFC4 firmware package. Before we start, let's quickly discuss near field communication and what it means for the world around us. NFC is a short range wireless technology that is becoming widespread. As a matter of fact, in the year 2020, more than 60% of mobile phones come with NFC. And ABI research estimate that by 2024, NFC enabled devices will reach 1.6 billion units. Its application range from mobile payment to appliances, medical and industrial automation. SD recognizes the growing potential of NFC in vast number of applications, so we have built an extensive NFC product portfolio. Within the SD25 product family, we have the SD25T for tags, SD25D for dynamic tags, and SD25R for transceivers. You can explore our NFC product portfolio by navigating to the links shown here. What you see here is a demo consisted of the X Nuclear NFC 04A1 shield board with its circular antenna on top of the Nuclear STM32 L476RG. The boards are stacked via the Arduino connector. It demonstrates the use of SD25D dynamic tag IC with STM32 microcontroller and how RF field coming from an NFC phone can be used as an interrupt source. This diagram shows the components and how they are connected to complete the demo. So the SD25DV detects an RF field and interrupt the STM32 via its GPO pin. The microcontroller subsequently turns on the green LED. To complete this demo tutorial, you will need two pieces of hardware. The Nucleo L476 RG board and the NFC 04A1 shield. You will also need to install SCM32 Cube MX and SCM32 Cube IDE by navigating your web browser to the last two links of this list. Let's quickly go through what we are going to do in this short tutorial. First, we will install KubeMX code generator and Cube IDE debugger. Once we have done that, we will proceed to set the correct GPIOs and needed peripheral. There's also some setting of the Xcube NFC4 package that we need to pay attention to. After all that, we will proceed to project export and run the project. Once you have successfully installed SCM32 Cube MX, select the application and run it. You will need an internet connection at this point to install necessary package such as SCM32QL4 and XNuclear NFC4. Locate the Install and Remove Embedded Software button at the right side of the screen. The Embedded Software Package Manager will open up and you can see if you need to install the SCM32L4Q package. Here, the green box indicates install package while clear blue box shows all the relevant package that could be installed for working with the SCM32L4 microcontroller. Notice that in this particular example screenshot, the SCM32QL4 is already installed at version 1.16.0. Next we will install the Xcube NFC4 by clicking on the SD Microelectronics tab. Notice that in this particular example screenshot, we already have version 2.0.0 installed. 
Now start your project by clicking on the Access Board Selector button. We will choose which board we plan to use. You will see a list of boards. Navigate to the Nuclear L476RG and click on Start Project. A dialog will open and you will click on No. A 64-pin package will then be shown. You will notice here that some pins are already assigned to certain features specific to the nuclear board. Review the list on the left and set up additional GPIO assignments. These pins will connect to the X Nuclear NFC 04A1 shield board. For example, if you click on PA10, a dialog box will open and you will select GPIO underscore output. Under connectivity, select the I2C1 peripheral, then enable it for I2C operation. Under parameter setting tab, inspect the I2C1 configuration and make sure that it matches what is shown here on this example screenshot. Next, we will enable the external interrupt and configure it. Under the System Core tab, select NVIC, then check the box that is corresponding to the EXTI line 9 through 5 interrupt. Next, you will nav navigate to the Software Packs drop down menu bar. This is located directly below the Clock Configuration tab. Then click on Select Component. You can also select this item using out O key combination. Click on SD Microelectronics X Cube NFC4 to expand it. Then click on Board Extension, similar to review the NFC 04A1 checkbox. Tick the checkbox. Finally, you click on Device to expand it. Only one item application is in this drop down menu. You will select general purpose output, then you click OK. One last thing before we compile and debug navigate to software packs at the middle left of your screen. There should only one item that you can click on. Check the box next to device NFC for application and board extension NFC. Under platform setting tab, assign the correction hardware to the pins. For example, for the yellow LED, select PA10 under found solution. Essentially, duplicate what you see here on the screenshot. Now navigate to the project manager tab and give your project a name. Here we name it QMX GPO. Then select SEM32 cube ID under two chains slash IDE. Generate under root checkbox should be ticked for Win10. Click on generate code and then open project when the dialog appears. Here's the project in cube IDE. You can browse through the project file structures and examine the code. While you can add or change code at this point, make sure that you run the code first to confirm its operation. This screenshot shows the correct configuration for the debugger. Make sure that you have the board connected via a mini USB cable before running the code. Bring an NFC phone near will light up the green LED showing that ST25DV detects its RF field. Thank you and we hope that you enjoy this short tutorial with NFC and SCM32. Feel free to exercise all the example within Xcube NFC4. You can also complete this tutorial with all the SCM32 variants that are available in Nuclear64 hardware format.